today we're going to be looking at my new desk setup. I just recently moved into my own place and thought this would be the perfect opportunity to upgrade and make a proper setup. I hope that some of the elements in my desk setup can inspire some ideas to put in yours, especially seems like today the home desk and office is becoming a more and more important space. Although I do work a lot, I like to spend a lot of time at my desk gaming, watching YouTube, and of course editing photos and videos. For this setup, I wanted to create a space with a clean and white theme. If I had to restart the whole process, I would start with painting the room. I didn't realize how much the walls were more of a cream color and not white until I put the 3D panel tiles up. I decided to go with Chantilly Lace by Benjamin Moore and this was inspired by some of Justin Say's setups. It really brightened up the room, made it look a lot cleaner, and it really set the whole space up for the clean white look I was going for. The accent wall behind the desk is made up of panel tiles with a 3D geometric pattern. I saw these on some desk setup videos and thought it would create a nice gradient when paired with the lighting my monitor and PC have. I decided to use 3M mounting tape with the panel since eventually I am going to have to take them down. However, this method made it very difficult to get the tiles aligned. If I were to do it again, I would probably do what others have recommended and use liquid nails to get the tiles as flush together as possible. Even though it's not perfect, it turned out nice and the white paint really helps conceal those gaps. For the desk, I decided to go with the popular Alex Drawer and Carlby countertop IKEA combination. I have one Alex Drawer in white and a black IKEA trestle in the Carlby countertop in a walnut finish as the desktop. The Carlby is meant to be a kitchen countertop and although it isn't solid wood, it has been just as sturdy. I got mine in the shorter 74 inch variant and IKEA sells it in a longer 98 inch length. If you want to cut the desk to a custom length, you can cover the rough edge with the two edging strips IKEA provides. The Alex Shore was really difficult to get at my local IKEA. I had to keep checking the IKEA app to see if it restocked and was lucky enough to finally get one. Initially I wanted it in the black brown color, but even at the time of filming of this video, IKEA has yet to restock. The Alex Shore has two smaller drawers and I put kitchen utensil organizers also from IKEA in order to make things easier to organize. The three deeper drawers are where I put bigger items that would normally clutter my desk such as headphones, tripods, and some of my journals. Now for the monitors, I knew I wanted to get that floating monitor look, and since I didn't want to drill any holes in the wall, I decided to go with the Huano dual arm gas piston monitor arms. This monitor arm works with VESA compatible mounts and came with a ton of hardware to adapt to monitors with specific VESA configurations. The main monitor is the Samsung Odyssey G7, which is a 27-inch curved VA gaming monitor with G-Sync. This monitor has a 240Hz refresh rate and is a 2560x1440 QHD display and features the new 1000R ultra-wide curved screen that is meant to match the curve of the human eye for maximum immersion and minimal eye strain. I personally really like the curve, however, straight on it's not that much different from any other curved monitor. This is my go-to of course for gaming and as well as for my production work. The second monitor is the LG 27UD69P in white, which is a 27 inch 4K UHD IPS monitor with a 60Hz refresh rate. This monitor features an sRGB 99% color gamut and is the reason why I do all of my DaVinci Resolve color grading and Lightroom and Photoshop edits on this monitor so I get my colors as accurate as possible. Also because it is a 4K monitor, I like to watch videos, shows, and movies that are on 4K on this monitor. Both of these monitors have very thin bezels and fit the theme I was going for pretty well while still providing the functionality that I need day to day. All this is powered by my custom built PC. And for my PC enthusiasts out there, I have a Ryzen 7 2700X with an NZXT AIO, an EVGA 2080 XC Ultra, 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z RAM, an ROG Strix X470 motherboard, and all this is powered by a Corsair 850MX power supply unit. The case is the Cooler Master H500 with three Corsair QL 120mm fans. On the storage side, I have 8TB of network attached storage set up in Synology Hybrid RAID. The last thing I have on my desk is a Dyson AM09 hot and cold fan heater in white and silver. This fan along with the Dyson Cyclone V10 animal are the first Dyson products I've ever owned and not only do they have a very nice aesthetic, they function extremely well. The Dyson fan is convenient if I just want some extra circulation in the room and is powerful enough to actually heat the room without having the house heat on. The fan is extremely quiet even on the higher settings, 
Only thing this fan doesn't feature is the purification settings that some of the new models have. So that may be something to look for in the future. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope that some of the elements I've decided to add in my desk setup can inspire some of yours. Uh, it's just a place where I can really just spend hours on end, gaming, editing, doing work. And that's really what you wanna look for in a setup is if you spend a lot of time there, that it meets your needs. But yeah, as for the channel, um, I plan to do a lot of reviews, maybe some more desk setups, uh, travel videos when we get back to traveling. But so yeah, so like and subscribe and let me know uh, what you guys wanna see. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.